Yeah. I, I, I heard a story. Uh, about that. I forget. I forget who, man. A guy, a guy I interviewed. I, I, I forget his name. He's gonna kill me if he hears this. But uh, he put out a DVD where he interviewed you, and he said something about you was in jail and the blood had saved you. Is that true? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, oh good, cause I'm glad. Well, he cause... didn't save me. He didn't save me, but um, he he put the word out. You know, mm-hmm. if anybody touched this dude, you know what I mean, it's gonna be down. But I had grew up with this dude. Oh, you like, knew this dude since? We, yeah, I knew him since we was like ten years old. We used to do backflips. I used to live in CV Circle. There's this place, CV Circle Apartments, like the. Midtown Sacramento, where all the broke welfare people was, you know what I mean. Um, I had knew him from there, and then when I went to jail, I ran into him because niggas was tripping on me, and I ran into him because of my dumb ass went on the blood side instead of the crip side. Because I was like, shit, jail is jail, so I went anywhere. Them niggas huh. was plotting to get me, they were plotting to get me, and I didn't know about it. And he came up to me and said. Who you need to either roll up or, or do something because they trying to get your ass. And <laughs> right. I stopped them. You know what I mean? So I rolled up. I ain't even gonna lie. There's uh, no way that I was gonna sit there. I couldn't sleep at night. I, I right. it took me like two days to roll up, but I couldn't sleep at night. I was sleeping in the daytime. When I, when the homie on top of on my top bunk was watching over me, and probably only sleeping a couple of hours a day, it, it, was, right. it was bad. It was bad. Yeah, that should be fucked up. And every time I go to jail, 